kind of noisy around here. Hey, Namaskar, everyone. How are you? Hopefully, everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're going to stick around. And if you're already subscribing, you watch my videos. It's time for another adventure. Perfect day, I would say. I thought it was actually going to storm today, and I think it still might a little later on. But we are out, and we're going to take a hike today. Um, we are in Pennsylvania, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, to be precise, Lawrence County. And we're actually just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the Ohio border. And not too far, if you go the opposite direction, to Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which would not be just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Um, this is the Quaker Falls Recreation Area. This was established, and I will use the word established because the park was actually established in 2021. Um, now this area has been here for a long, long time. Before that, we're, we're going into the 1800s um, when people were in this area. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But even though this park was established in 2021, it was an ongoing 20 plus years to get this to where it's at today. Um, and it... it it is kind of noisy here. We are right off the road. And before, before this gate, I show you. This right here is 224. Right here. That way goes to Newcastle. That way goes to Boardman in Poland. Okay? And this is the entrance. At one time, you wouldn't have even been able to come in here unless you knew about it. Uh, now that they made it into a park. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about things as we go on with the video. But now that it's a park, um, it's, still, it's still easy to miss if, if you don't know where it is, but it's more accessible. Um, okay, just making sure no cars are trying to race me down. But here is, like I said, we're in Lawrence County, Pennsylvania in Edinburgh. And there's the sign for the Quaker Falls Recreation Area. And now I'm going to show everybody the, the memorial plaques because a lot of people don't know about this area yeah that, I came here as a kid uh, but you had a park like on the side of the roads and stuff like that to get back here you had a hike back in here I don't know if they close these uh, these gates or not I've never been here when they were closed, so I don't know. Um, a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of different things to, to explain here. This is no longer private property. It used to be private property. Some of it still is, but uh, whatever it was, the township, the committee, they keep purchasing acres off whoever owns the property. I'm not sure who owns it. Um, because what you see here, they want it wants to become a nice, big green space park. Uh, right there, you can see this is the parking lot there, and there's a gate down there. That's the start of private property, which I'm gonna kind of. I got coordinates for something that I, I, I don't know. I haven't found what I'm looking for yet. And I, I, again, I'll I'll talk about that. Now this area, we know that this was established in 2021. That's the park. But this area was here well before that. This used to be a village. Now where are we? Quaker Town Recreation Area, or Quaker Falls Recreation Area. That kind of gives us a hint of kind of what this area might have been at one time. Uh, this was Quaker Town. It was, a, it was a village of Quakers. And Quakers, from what I know, and you know, and like I said, when you watch my videos, I tell you things I know, I tell you things I've heard, my stories, um, and I encourage you to delve a little deeper, deeper and do some research on your own and, and get more facts and information and maybe tell me something that I don't know. But this... This used to be a Quaker village in this area. 
in the 1800s, late 1800s. Um, we're talking like 1898, 1899, and so on. And Quakers, Quakers were a religious society of friends, uh, is what they were considered. They, they didn't, they didn't join in any wars. They didn't encourage wars. Uh, they did not believe in slavery. They dressed plain. They definitely dressed plain. They, and uh, they were a modest people. And uh, that, that's a cool book. You hear that in the background? I think that might be the whole reason that uh, we came here. I, I hear something. We're going to check it out. But they also didn't sign any oaths either. Okay? Um, and from what I know, a lot of a lot of Quakers came from the Wales area. Um, so that's kind of the story about this area of what it used to be. It was a Quaker village. Um, so hence the name Quaker Falls Recreation Area, Quaker Town Falls, etc. And they, they, they really did try to build this up a little bit. It, it is going to be a nice park when they get done with it. Um, it's not very big now, but there are some off trails that we can do that I believe we are today. Uh, just for you. And I will say, if you come here, okay, be careful if you go off trails. There's a waterfall down below, and I, I hopefully you hear that in the background. There's a little bit of it right there. We're gonna go, we're gonna walk down there if we can. Um, I know it just did rain a little bit ago, but it gets slippery down there, and there's there's been some deaths down that way. And uh, as always, here's some signs, and I will stop. And if you want to pause and read, feel free. I encourage that. This, this is really cool. I love this. I love this bridge. I love this view. I like the boulders right there. Now, this wasn't always a footbridge either. Let's go look. See, it's easy to, it's easy for accidents around here. Just nothing's like super high but a lot of rocks a lot of slippery spots so just just be careful okay just be careful there's another footpath that you can go under the bridge right there and go check out maybe we will on our way back i don't know but this was not just a footbridge this was an old railroad bridge and the railroad bridge the railroad itself used to cut across 224 and right through there that was where the railroad tracks used to go and it was built the, the not not this not the footbridge but the actual railroad bridge was built in I believe 1894 and it was used by the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad Company the P&LE and I believe it was also a spur off of the tracks that we're out of Lowville, Ohio. But yeah, this bridge is cool. I always, you know, if it's not 200 feet up in the air, I'm okay with these grates like this. But if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I cry like a baby if it's, if it's uh, any taller. <laughs> See some birds flying around. Oh, it looks like there's a tunnel over there. This would be Falling Spring Run. That's what this water waterway is called but yeah look at the look at the columns right there the old oh man the old iron the old bridge awesome and then don't worry i'm gonna go look at this side i i heard everybody oh turn back turn back there's the waterfall we're gonna go if we can we're gonna get down there and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to there's a there's a path over there uh, that I'm going to walk and I think I should be able to get to the bottom and give everybody a view of that as well 
but I, I could already see that it's slippery. Like I said, it rained, so uh, it's gonna be kind of slick. There's a robin up in the tree right there. Looks like he just got himself a new haircut. Hmm. Here's another sign over here. Now I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna walk this whole trail here. It, it doesn't really go anywhere anyway. Uh, like I said, they they are trying to continue um, buying property and and building this into a bigger a bigger park and uh, park and more trails and whatnot. I guess I'm already here. I should show you, huh? There's another sign down here anyway. But yeah, a lot of, lot of history throughout here. Now see, you can go off. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go on this side though. But unimproved trails ahead. Proceed at your own risk. We're, I'm gonna go on the other side of the falls. But you can, you can go down and go look on this side of the falls. Again, pause the video if you wanna read it. And there's a little sneak peek over there. So you can crawl down. Like I said, if you're a good hiker, you can get down there. And I, I would, but you, you can go down there. You can get all the way to the falls. But I'm not going to do this side. I'm going to go on the other side. Just because I know that side. And the, and the other side, I think, is awesome. Wait and see. Because we'll get to, there's a trail that goes underneath some of the cliffs. It's, it's pretty awesome. Again, just be careful. Be careful. And no flip-flops, no crocs. You should be wearing those anyway when you're out hiking. Another sign. And I, I think this one might be an easy path to go down, yeah? Sounds like adventure. I'll go down here since I'm over here already for you. Check the underside of the bridge. And there's the falls. There's the falls and then there's the gorge down in there. But yeah, see there's a little path on the other side, man. It does look slippery, so I'm gonna have to be extra careful when I go over there. Um, we'll see what happens. Ooh, there's another robin. Here's the old railroad bridge. Eighteen ninety-four. that was built. And I think that when they made it into a footbridge, they, uh, you know, they checked out all the uh, safety issues. They didn't want nobody walking across it and falling down, which is totally understandable. Let's go check this tunnel out. Look at that. Boy, if I had boots, I would go walk through that. That would be kind of cool, huh? Maybe bring some waders or something and go in there. And then if you have a kayak, and not an inflatable one, <laughs> but no, you can't go that in a kayak. But uh, here's the underside of the bridge. All right. So I think we should continue, and I show you some other parts of this area. Yeah, don't don't be worried now coming to this to this park because it is not on private property anymore. It used to be on private property and people used to sneak in here and uh, I don't think they would get fined and stuff like that. I think they would just get kicked out. And I'm gonna walk up this way. 
but yeah. Now you don't have to go to the bottom of the falls. You can just stay right up here and everything's, I guess if you're handicapped, you could come up here and still uh, see the falls and stuff. You wouldn't be able to get like super close to the falls, but you'll be able to do, you know, you'll be able to do this, right? I mean, it's gravel there, but it's, it's kind of like loose pack gravel, so I don't think it would pose a problem. Or if you just, you know, and, and this is if you're handicapped, you know, I think you could go along the actual parking lot area and I think you can still see the falls. Now we are already underneath the bridge, so I don't think we have to go on that side, but yeah. Old Railroad Bridge, 1894. Now, there's, there's hemlock flower, so don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. Um, man, that pollen's getting to me. Uh, I think you can go down over here, because there's the falls again. And see, this is the trail that they made. It's just a small little trail. It just goes in a loop here. Oh, oh boy. There it is. There's the falls. Quaker Town Falls. Man, and if you look, man, that, that tunnel's up back in there. That's awesome. How cool is that? Everybody loves a waterfall. You can get behind it, but if it's, if it's slippery, I'm not taking my chances. So I was telling you that this used to be the village, a Quaker village. Somewhere in this area is a burial ground. I think it, it was 1979 that they did a dig somewhere in here and they found remnants of a, the old village. And uh, I think again they did that like maybe in 2017 or, or, or uh, around 2017. They had another, uh, another dig and they found, they found uh, flint. And, and, and whatnot. Um, I have not been able to find that yet. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's on public property. I have no clue. I don't know where it is. So if somebody knows where that is, let me know. Maybe I'm just passing it up somebody. Like I said, I, that way there's a trail, but that was where the old railroad tracks were. Could be back in there, but there's a no trespassing sign. As much as I like to venture, I gotta say, don't don't trespass. If if there's no trespassing signs, don't trespass. You know. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do this other loop. I'm gonna walk around here and we're gonna see if we can go down uh, and get a closer look at the waterfall. What's that? That's a heck of an idea. Oh man! <laughs> oh, remind reminds me of uh, the '80s. Of course, I'm not wearing ripped jeans and spandex, and I don't have big hair no more. Matter of fact, I don't have any hair. But uh, reminds me of Aquanet. <laughs> it's not Aquanet, and I don't get sponsored by nobody on my channels. But that stuff is the best stuff you could ever use. Um, why am I putting that on there? Because this area is filled with freaking ticks okay so put something on every time i come here i go back with with a tick or two we don't want lyme disease so deep woods there you go you know i have to tell everybody something too yes yeah, so let's go check this out um word of caution there are cameras around here 
So that's why, man, there's horse flies too. There are cameras around here. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. Private property, no trespassing. Um, I don't know if that's where, I don't know if that's where the burial grounds were or not. I have no, I have no idea. I have no idea, but I know there's like, there's supposed to be like three gravestones. And, so, and I don't know. I haven't, I have not been able to find it. Um, and I don't want to trespass on, on somebody's property. Um, now sometimes there's ways around that. But, uh, hmm. If somebody knows where that is, if it even still exists, if it was washed away, let me know. Burton Powder Company. I think that's who used to own or still owns. I, maybe I should read some of those sometimes. Maybe get some more better information. I don't know. I, I really, I, when I say I tell you things that I know, it, it's the God's honest truth. Okay. Now here is, here is a trail this way. I'm going to show you these, these trails, okay? Now I don't know if I've been down in here, okay? And I don't know if the, the, the remnants of, of some of the buildings and stuff are down in here. Are they up there? I almost want to say they're they're up that way, and it's they're not supposed to be too far from where you know, like a hundred yards or whatever. So I don't know. I, I really wish I could find them. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go down here. Be careful. I just tell myself that too to be careful. I just I don't want to scare nobody. It did just rain here. Okay. It it's a little slippery. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's slippery. Dang it. I'm gonna do what I can. I'm not gonna go crazy on this, uh, the trail. That's all swampy in there. Look at this. Look at this view. Look at that. That's why I said this side, this side was a better view than the other side. Now, I don't wanna scare nobody. I don't wanna scare myself, but when I was walking, I didn't get it on uh, camera, but I heard that uh, just now it happened. I think it was uh, a couple that I passed. Um, somebody just fell down here. Now, I don't think they fell off a cliff. They probably fell down the, the uh, trail, so you got to be extra careful. Yeah, it's, yeah, you got to treat this with respect because it's, today's slippery, I don't, I, I knew better, man. <laughs> it just got done raining. Look at that. How cool is that? I think we can go down. It's that one, or maybe there's another one down there we can go down. Check this out, man. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, see? Look at this. Waterfalls in the background. I see it from here. This is one of my things that I love to do on my channel is go to these places that a lot of people can't get to. Like if you're older and your legs just don't work. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I can feel it sometimes, but when your legs don't work, you're not coming down here. You're just not coming down here for safety issues. Maybe you did as a kid. Oh, there's some water dripping. Maybe you did as a kid and uh, this is bringing back some kind of memories, you know? which is totally awesome 
Yeah, see the water dripping? That's awesome. How cool is this? Freaking awesome. Love this kind of stuff. Love this kind of stuff. Yeah, there's flies, horse flies. But I'm not joking about the ticks. When you get done, if you come down here, actually anywhere in the park here, if you're uh if you're walking it and you're with somebody else, do it, do a tick check. Look at that tree just on the edge in there. I think that's the oh 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 oh. I think that's the trail I end up going down there. Look at that tree, man! It's like upside down. Look at that. There's a there's a nest up there. Sweet robin nest. Look at that tree. <laughs> What's up there? I can't see. Anything? I can't see. I'm short. Looks like a haunted house uh, ride down here. Somebody had a little fire going on. Uh... -huh. Yeah. See, I don't, uh, I don't like this business. I know it's rock. Your kids are having fun. Maybe your kids. Who knows? Maybe you're an adult. Clean up after your stupid self. Plain and simple. Don't litter. Why, why you gotta, why you gotta do this? Why you gotta do that? Not so much the fire, man. It, you know, that might be a kind of a cool thing. As long as you put it out. But clean up the ashes. Clean up your plastic. Look at it. Look at this. I hate it. I hate it. Man, irritates me. I better quit talking about it. But uh, you can't change everybody. You can just change yourself and uh, make yourself a better person, I guess. Look at that view. Oh, man. Look at that view right there, guys. And girls. How about that? Tell me that ain't a bad A-S-S view. Wow. All right. Let's see if we can get closer to it. Yeah, the worst thing would be to fall... And I got water on me to fall and hit your head on on a rock. I just dig these boulders, man. Wow. I wonder how short of a video this is going to be. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke, because every time I do a video, it ends up being like an hour and a half. I don't think this one is, though. This one's not going to be an hour and a half. That is awesome. I could sit here all day, have a chair right where I'm at right now, and just look at that. I'm underneath the shade. Man, is that beautiful. Little log jam up. Now that waterfall there, that's the Quaker Town. Quaker Town Falls. That's a 40 foot, that's a 40 foot waterfall. And I, I believe it's a 30 foot crest on that. You can see the, the double, the double waterfall because of that shelf. That's amazing, that's amazing. All right, let's keep walking. This is where you want to be careful, man. There's nothing to stop you from falling down in there. Wow, look at the iron in the water. 
for the tournament. Man, that's awesome. And I'm walking super slow. Look at this. This is how slick this is, and there's the edge right there. So, I mean, even if you are an experienced hiker, climber, be careful. Be careful. Just be careful. So you don't want to you don't want to bring your kids down here either you know what i mean little kids anyway man you could probably go swimming in there i always make the joke uh where's harold balder because he's always going swimming in pools like that Uh, let's go this way. Oh, somebody's smoking. Somebody's smoking their games. Some might nice rain. <laughs> yeah. This is why we hike. This is why we hike. Man. Oh, amazing. I'll see how far I can go over here. Like I said, this is wet. Super wet. I don't want to uh, fall. I don't want to go down that. I don't want to start sliding down that. Check this out though. See if I can be as careful as I can. Careful as I can. <laughs> look at this. We're on, look at this. We're behind the waterfall. Right? What are you waiting for? Get out and hike. So now I got a backtrack. Let me get my let me get my bearing on how I gotta do this because I don't want to fall. But check this out, man. How freaking awesome is this? You can come behind the waterfall. That's an experience. So let's uh, let's take our time here and uh... <laughs> yeah, you got you really you got to be super careful here, one step at a time, one step at a time. If it was dry, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's wet. Super easy to uh, just take a tumble, and you don't want to do that. Especially if you're by yourself and what do I tell you don't go by yourself which I'm not by myself somebody's up there my girlfriend's up top um, she wanted to come down here but guess what she's wearing flip-flops mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Plus, hearing stories about people falling, man, didn't help. Uh, didn't help all that much either. I dig that. That was cool. I'm glad I was able to. Uh, I'm glad I was able to show everybody that you can go behind the falls. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to go down that trail, and we'll go down there, and we'll get a uh, view of that. Here we are again. What's in there? Anything? Yeah, so I guess I guess the whole reason this village like got got abandoned and stuff was 
was the was the steel in the iron days and uh it kind of i don't know if it forced the quakers to move but whatever happened when when the when the last quaker moved out of here uh everything like the remnants they, they found their village and stuff was just left to disintegrate i guess but yeah i seriously want to know where those gravestones are i really 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 want to check those out so hopefully somebody's been out here and i remember coming here as a kid but i i didn't know anything but back then they they were covered up when they were doing this project and i think that's one of the reasons they want to acquire more property is maybe to include that as well because i don't think i don't think it's far from here Wow, that's awesome, right? I love wa waterfalls. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love waterfalls? Now, I think I went the other way last time. Hold on. Every time I go hiking, I try to find a, a, a bigger and better place. Um, you know what? I see something. <laughs> let's try. Let's let's see something else. I see something that. I haven't done before and I just kind of noticed. Um, maybe, just maybe, we can get over here and uh, check out the lower, the lower waterfall underneath that shelf. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. Look at the way that is. How cool is that? But be careful because you don't want to get hit in the head either by falling uh, falling debris. Ugh. Yeah, I think we can get under here. I think we can get under this one. Check this out. Yes, we can. Right? Oh, you feel the wind too. Oh, check this out, it opens up. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So I do have a suggestion for everybody. I do have a suggestion. If you do make the trip down here and it's a little bit slippery, if it rained, what, you know, whatever, do this one, do the bottom, do underneath the shelf. A lot easier, definitely a lot easier. And it's not as slippery. Wow, that's freaking amazing. Wow. All right. Oh, check the water comes out through here. Comes back, slows down. Comes back in there. All right. That was that was cool. That was definitely worth the uh, little adventure here. But yeah, that's my that's my opinion. Am I talking loud? Hopefully not too loud, so everybody shuts the channel off. But uh, that's my opinion is to take the bottom. Oh, check that out. I don't know if you can see it. it might, there's a spider web and a spider in it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it was focusing on the waterfall of the spider i couldn't see it all right um let's see let us see 
Let me see the other, the other part. I, I try to take the same way that I know, but then I see something I want to take different ways down. Um, we'll go down this trail. Yeah, we'll go down this one. I'm going to tell you what. It's muggy now. We'll get a straight, we'll get a head-on shot from that. This is another, this is another spot you want to be careful on too. Because uh, it's slippery. Because of the rocks. Just get your footing. Not pudding, footing. Get your footing. And grab on the trees. That, they're our friends. They're here to help you. All right, let's go. We'll go down here. We will go down here. That's a that's a cool little uh check this out. Check that little spot out right there. I'm gonna get a closer look at that. I like that. I like the way that looks. Let's go down here. Ah, look at that. The way the water, the way the water goes down in there. Look at that. It's flowing down. And there, I guess you could consider that another little waterfall but it's coming from all the the uh that that like uh man i can't think it's it's hot it's muggy it's coming down from all the all the um tree the tree dam there so it's making another little waterfall there's a little uh fizzy fizzy pop thing right there that foam i always like the foam and uh i just like the way that looks that looks cool as heck Let's see if I can get down uh, without killing myself. Oh yeah, that moves. Check that out. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, now I gotta, man, I'm dripping. All right. So, if you like waterfalls, this is one you don't want to miss. Like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people don't even know this is here. Uh, I mean, I'm, I think if you uh, Google waterfalls or Pennsylvania waterfalls, whatever, it'll it'll come up. Um, I gotta catch my breath, but uh, yeah. This right here is waiting for you. How about that? What do you think? Worth the hike down the cedar? I think so. Awesome, huh? Well, I don't know if to end my video here or should I hike back up and show you what it's like to hike real time to go up there. Um, I think this is a better out shot, don't you? I definitely think this is a better out shot. I think so. We're going to end the video here. And then I'll climb back up myself. You've seen us climb down. You know where to go. Um, so we have to quit. We are at the Quaker Falls Recreation Area. It's in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. The Ohio borderline is is. I'm telling you, could skip. You could hop and, and hit Ohio from where we are. Um, 
Google it, I think the address comes up. And like I said, it's kind of easy to miss the parking lot if you don't know it's here. Um, but it is more accessible in, in being able to see as it was in the past. Um, you can come down here, you can walk through this stuff. This is not private property no more. They made it into a park. Um, but there are some private areas and that's where I think that the gravestones are and the grave markers. Um, I'm not sure, again, if somebody knows, let me know. I think I see some minnows down there. Yeah, there's some minnows in there. You probably can't see them, they're really small. But yeah, if somebody knows about the grave markers, let me know about that. I would love to go see it. And uh, if you decide to come here, and if you want to take that little hike to the, to the bottom of the gorge, this is what you're going to find. Definitely worth it. Wear hiking shoes. Don't wear... I mean, you, I... I come down here with tennis shoes before, but be careful. Make sure you have your footing. A lot of people fell. A lot of people get hurt here. Um, is it a is it a hard hike? Nah, it's not a hard hike. I would say it's a moderate hike because there are some strenuous parts. Um, depending on how much you hike, depending on what you hike. You know what I mean? Uh, moderate so moderate trail definitely worth it uh, and if you can't come down here you still get to go you know up top I think that's where we are looking over right up in yeah because there's that broken tree stump up there you can look at that overhang right there and see the you can still see the waterfall so still you get you get to enjoy the waterfall so hey listen hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already this is what I do. I, I hike, I hike trails, I hike urbex. Uh, wherever I go that I find interesting and I wanna share, that's, that's what my channel's about. Um, so, until I see you on the next trail, wherever that may be, I don't know. We're gonna find one though. <laughs> Better than